Hey guys, MegamanNG here, and this is the first channel update of the year 2015. Now, we're going to be going through a lot in this update, so I hope you guys pay attention because I have big plans for the channel. Real big plans that really do mean something. I will be listing time codes on where I will, like, explain my goals for this year, so let's get this show started. One of my goals for my YouTube channel is simple. Reaching the round, the count of 30,000 subscribers. Now, about in December of last year, we've already hit 20,000. And that was a big accomplishment. Really big considering the amount of subs we've gotten. Sure, I know that not many of the subs are active, but I do know some of them, mind you. But at least to me, it's better than nothing. It really is. Eight years of my hard work. And this is where we reached. A big goal. But I am hoping that we can be able to take it one step further and reach 30k. I'm not the best YouTuber, Let's Play, or anything like that. But I want to make sure that my content is basically like somewhat entertaining at best. Somewhat good. So that way you guys can enjoy it and I know everyone else will. So in a nutshell, I want to keep on improving and I want to keep on getting better. Which brings me to my next issue. Getting new equipment such as an Elgato game capture. Believe it or not, I am planning on getting an Elgato game capture. It's just not right away because as you know, I've been collecting amiibos. And me finding them is just a serious pain in the butt. It really is. Currently right now, I have six amiibos. Five from Wave 1 and one from Wave 2. I will have a video which will show off my amiibo collection currently. And if I get any new ones, I'll update with newer videos so that way you guys can see. But the point exactly is that pretty soon I am going to be getting new equipment. One example being a pop filter because I've been using this blue Yeti for a long time. And I figure a pop filter would be better so that way it can like cancel out some noises and stuff like that. So that way my voice can be clear. I'm still getting used to doing commentary and I hope to keep on improving. I really do. But with an Elgato game capture, mind you, I can be able to do PS4 games. Because I have a lot of games I want to do. Like Guilty Gear Xrd, Rayman Legends, Destiny, which I still find to be a massive disappointment. And many other games, even Injustice Ultimate Edition. There are so many things I want to do. It's given me a whole bunch of possibilities. And I really, really am looking forward to it when I do. But the best thing about it is that I get to live stream with you guys. I can do live streams on Twitch. So that way you guys can see what I play and hear my commentary. And it's going to be unscripted commentary because I got to focus on the game itself. That and other distractions. So yeah, I plan on getting an Elgato, just not right away. I got to save up money for stuff because I don't plan on buying any new games for a little while. You know why? Because Birth by Sleep Final Mix is going to be like keeping me busy for about a month. Maybe more if I'm lucky with all the post-game content. And I plan on doing other games too, which brings up to another topic. Yeah, I plan on doing more Ace Attorney. And the Ace Attorney trilogy has already been released. The thing is, no one has even done a playthrough of it yet. I don't know if anyone has, but I am going to be doing a playthrough of the game. And it's going to be consisting of the original trilogy. The only problem, mind you, is the fact that I want to try avoiding spoilers. But if you guys already seen my playthrough, then you know I don't need to worry about it. So, I am at a crossroads. I want, I was wondering if I could maybe like take a break from doing Smash Wii U online so I can work on the Ace Attorney trilogy. I have recorded a lot of Birth by Sleep Final Mix and I will be recording more as I play through the game. But I want to hear your opinion if I should start the Ace Attorney like on Monday or Tuesday. I want to hear your opinion. And if you guys want to, feel free to let me know in the comments. I know it has been a while since I've done it, but I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy it all the same. And yeah, it's not going to have any commentary nor intros. It's just Ace Attorney from start to finish. That's all there is. And last but not least is that I hope to be doing more collaborations. I want to actually start doing collaborations with other YouTubers because I see it all the time. You know how all these Poke Pokemon YouTubers, many of them that I've already known do like collaborations like Midnight Noctiles or Tag Locks or Versus Locks, mind you. And I see them do it all the time and it's just really cool. And I really want to get myself involved in doing it. So alongside some of my projects that I plan on doing, I really want to collab with others. I have been speaking with some and I'm hoping to consider. It's just that sometimes I feel that 
maybe the same thing would be kind of repetitive. What I mean to say is, is that many of the people are going to be like interested in like Pokemon, but I want to do like other things, like a race, like in a different game, like a Super Mario Galaxy versus or a Sly Cooper versus. I don't mind that because I can cover that really easily and it'll really be a lot of fun. So <laughs> yeah, I apologize because for this New Year's update, I have not been doing pretty well, mind you. It's just not easy. But what I am going to say is that I hope 2015 will be a better year. This is the year, mind you, that's going to make or break for me. But at the same time, my personal life is going to experience a change. So, yeah, I'm going to be looking for a real job. I'm, I am going to find a way to support myself. So that way I can, like, downgrade this YouTube job to have it be a hobby again. Because back when I was in college, I focused more on my studies. Which was the reason why I took a year off from YouTube in 2011, 2011 after doing Gyak 10 Kenji 2. And I kind of regret it because I was so focused in my studies that I forgot. And in the process, my channel became kind of dead. I will be explaining more about this in future updates, but I'm going to be ending it here right now. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this New Year's update. And there's not going to be Smash Brothers today. There's going to be some tomorrow alongside more Birth by Sleep Final Mix. I have been recording a lot of it as we speak. I'm going to be covering the game as much as possible, and once I beat the main game along with the final secret episodes, the secret ending, I will be covering a lot of post-game coverage, like finding all the prize pods, and the different stuff in Disney Town, the Mirage Arena, the hidden bosses, it's going to be crazy. And But there's one thing I'm not going to be covering, it's the command board. I'm not covering that because the command board is basically like a board game and it's going to be like a waste of time. That and some of the board games take a rather long time, and I don't think I'll be ready for that. So, if you have any suggestions or whatnot, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy this channel update, please hit that like button. It does mean a lot to me. And I'll see you guys next time. Please don't forget to share this video out with everyone you know, because it'll help my channel grow. I really mean that. I want to keep growing, but my success depends on you. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace out.